Holy crap, we're all four together. What the hell's wrong with it? I don't know, man. I was thinking I'm here. I was thinking Kyle might ditch us, man. I thought he was gonna quit the show. Just decided, uh, you know what, guys? I'm just gonna go riding today. Fuck your show. My riding we... buddy did want to ride today, but uh, I said that we got the podcast. Now we know me, we did it on purpose too. Me and uh, me and Kobe were talking. I don't know if you listen to the show, Jimmy, but uh, me and Co- uh, me and Kobe were talking how you had an, an accountant appointment set up for last mm-hmm. week, which is why you weren't here. Is that uh, you don't make the show a priority? You're like I- I'm uh, scheduling around it, scheduling around. Well, the I show. figure I figure taking <laughs> yeah. taking care of the IRS is probably the priority. See, and that's where we differ, right there. You got till April, yeah. man. You're good. I don't even want to talk about it. It was one of the worst meetings I've ever had. I left sick to my stomach, and uh, that's, run, I'll leave give us that's the, how it goes every fucking year. Give us the rundown. Yeah, this Jimmy. one was really bad, though. I I was I didn't go in this one with the I guess. I, I, realistic expectations were not there, I guess, for this year. So, Jimmy, I know you can't. I, I know you can't talk about all of it, but how did they uh, tax cryptocurrency gains? Is it just capital gains or fifteen percent or whatever? Yeah, they yeah. Do? The, cri- the cryptocurrency didn't wasn't wasn't the issue. That's capital uh-huh. gains, so it's fifteen percent of your your gains. Yeah. No, it's whew, when you it pull was... it out or you use it to buy uh, altcoin, but. Yeah. If you don't tell the IRS, you ain't got to pay shit, motherfucker. You write that this shit is, off. Yep. This is true. You, you don't until they audit you. But. Today's guest is an IRS uh, deputy. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's Badge gonna number 34479. He's going he's gonna to yeah, be talking yeah. about all the laws that Kyle has broken in his taxes. Ah, fuck him. When in doubt, fuck him. Yep. But yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty rough. Hey, at least uh, what you should have done is taken your tax savings and put it all into Bitcoin. Yeah, I um, like that. At the right timing, like I did. So I was fucking. Go ahead. I was fucking profiting off my tax savings. Now, if it went to shit and went to zero, I'd be fucked and couldn't pay my taxes. But uh, (laughs) hey, you know those. uh, They work with you. They work with you. You know those people that yeah, are uh, when good. you read the articles. That's like never put in stuff that whatever, whatever. Kyle just skips that disclaimer and he's like, "Taxes, let's uh, if do you it." Can't baby. afford or uh, only only invest yeah. what you can't afford to lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah I had, tax uh, savings. Who cares? I had one. Uh, I had one tax year where they accidentally uh, the IRS accidentally applied my tax payment to the next year. So I got like a letter in the mail. It was like, "You owe like twenty thousand dollars." I was like, uh, shit your pants. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I had to like, I had to like go to my bank and uh, get proof that they actually cashed the check that I sent. And I was like, yeah, you guys cashed it. So they're like, oh yeah, we put it to the next year. It's our fault. Yeah, I had my tax lady fucking. She forgot to take out like my wages, and so and so that I had already paid taxes on, but she forgot to take it out. She's like, you know, you owe this large number i'm like i i literally was just sitting there like i'm like what the fuck and i'm just like i was thinking about like okay well i can sell my truck for 50k like i'm just like <laughs> going all these through all these numbers in my head i'm like that's kind of like, where I'm i was fucked. at when i left the other day but my tax lady made a mistake <laughs> Didn't have Jimmy, to do were, you, were you just like were, were you just like now this house has to sell yeah no no we're not we we, we took it off the market like uh, four or five months ago we're keeping it yeah. Well, still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the uh, yeah. It, no matter what. Actually, this year for taxes, I actually got a uh, check back. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Wow. Yeah, because I didn't. I switched my CPA, so I didn't know um, how much I paid at the end of the previous year, and I'm and so they didn't know either. So we just they just did my normal taxes and got a little check for 10k. Fuck yeah, straight into crypto. Go, buddy, go. I can I can hear the depression in your voice. It's just fucking <laughs> just money, rough, man. Low rough, low rough. You got kids to feed, man. What are these What are these IRS people think they're doing, man? You've got kids to feed. <laughs> yeah, know. seriously, isn't it? Isn't it just them. insane the amount of money you pay to the fucking IRS? Yeah, it's, it's that's fucking the, that's insane. That's the part that makes you sick to your stomach. And then and then you hear about stories about them having like two million dollar like parties that are funded by mm-hmm. us. Like that's fucking garbage, man. How, how's that shit? Like it's and it's. I mean, it's nothing out of the ordinary, you know. They, I mean, that shit happens all the time, and it's just, just on be, our fucking dime. 
We need to be like the 1920s gang, the Peaky Blinders. You guys watch that on Netflix? Peaky fucking blinders. They just took what they wanted. They didn't pay taxes. I'm Jimmy, in- uh, after the show, I'll hit you up with a Cayman Islands account, all right? And we'll get you all fixed up, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, so no, seriously, if you've never watched it, you should go check out Peaky Blinders. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty all right, I'll make sure I don't do that. The 20s. I've Actually, seen that on my really thing. Actually, you really like it, Kyle. I would, I know. I've seen that on my uh, things you may want to watch. Peaky fucking blinders. In, any of you motherfuckers watch Gold Rush? No. no. Oh. Gold Rush. Well, is that the movie with McConaughey? No, it's a show. The What's movie the with, with McConaughey? Matthew McConaughey is really good, though. Yeah, it was. Where he goes and, he goes and pets a, a tiger to get a better deal or yeah, something I don't... like that. I but like I up, like Matthew. He ends up thinking he got he ends up thinking he got fucked over, but he really did. Well, he did for a sec. Spoiler That's alert! It. Spoiler! Oh yeah, alert. you're not gonna watch it. So basically, they he goes to this place, um, like in the fucking jungle, and they you know supposedly found a shitload of gold, and um, so they start this. They their gold company goes on like Wall Street, and they're just fucking just making millions and millions and millions of dollars. And it turns out that there was literally never any fucking gold. It was just like a, they would, the only gold that they'd ever seen, says he gets asked in the movies, like, have you ever seen the gold? And he fucking just sits there and he's like, well, you know, he saw at the very beginning, he saw like a little jar of gold that, you know, like the locals had panned from the river. But, but other than that, nuts. yeah, other than that, like, like, and he didn't know about it. So he didn't end up getting in trouble. And his partner sold all the shares, you know, he's or he sold a shitload of his shares in the in the company and just fucking millions and millions of dollars. But then the partner actually, you know, sent him a check or something at the very end of the movie, so he didn't get fucked over. Hey, another it underrated was movie is Big Short. That you reminded me of Big Short. Big oh, Short's a good film. Movie too. When you were describing I this s- movie, I was like, wait, is that Big Short? It's kind of the same. I mean, not exactly, but it's a good movie too. <laughs> Yeah, no, big, just basically, short, basically only. I wonder yeah, if basically they'll make a the big, uh, big short crypto movie. Uh, doubt it. If it fucks over a bunch of people, no, maybe. they will for uh the fucking education system. Yeah, like student loans and that shit. Oh yeah, that for stuff sure. is killing us. So if you, like speaking of auto loans too. Uh, speaking of Netflix, there's a documentary series called uh, Dirty Money, and it, episode two is about the guy who did the payday loans. Have you guys ever heard that story? Like how messed no, up it is? No, I've seen the show on Netflix. I haven't watched it yet, though. Dude. Go go through it. Tell right, us the so things. This, listen to how shady this dude is. By the way, he claims his innocence here because he said, I was doing everything by the law of a loan officer. He's basically a loan shark. So what he would do is I'll use Kyle and Jimmy as examples here. So let's say... Uh, and Burns will be the guy working there. So I'm the owner. I give Burns a bonus if he can keep Kyle under contract for his payday loan. Kyle's like one of those people who needs $500 to like pay his bill or he's going to like go to collections or they're going to take his car. Or they're going to turn his heat off. Right. So he borrows $500 from me at a like 18% uh, interest. So each month, $45 is taken out of Kyle's account. Right. So he thinks he's paying that loan down. Even if it's just two hundred fifty dollars, so he thinks, okay, the mic, the micro loans, right? Yeah, the micro loans. So it happens four yeah. times. So he's paid almost two hundred dollars. He thinks, and then he'll get a bill and be like, "Hey, you haven't put t- taken off anything in your principal. Do you want to make a payment?" And he's like, "Well, I've put two hundred towards it." And they're like, "No, that is a loan renewal fee." So every time these people who don't have much money to begin with are getting dinged, it's not going to their principal, so they'll still have that like. Each month, that interest is going to their loan. So it basically, it's like, goes forever. Yeah, it can. So he made he made four shoot. He made four hundred million dollars on the backs of those people. Became a race car driver, uh, like professional. Like it's it's worth watching this dirty money on Netflix. But I never knew, like, because I've seen those payday. Those things were really popular, like ads. Like you'd always see payday, get cash now. And he was yeah, I think just I took one of those one time and didn't pay him back. <laughs> really? You usually yeah. find them in like super poor communities. Yeah, well, dude, that's and that's what it was. And then it was, uh, and he was just he made four hundred million dollars. And then the IRS came and were like taking all of his cars and stuff and his house. And he claims He's trying to innocent. keep a man down. It's just crazy. 
It's sad, man. It's just another scam. All the man. depressing fucking news. Yeah, we need something positive. Break us into positive, people. Hey, tell them about last night, the Royal Rumble. Oh, man. Oh, you guys that heard, was a great I heard Ronda Rousey fucking party. Up. Yeah, yeah, she that did. Yeah, that part was stupid. She did. Uh, so, Royal Rumble Who party. Rumble? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people. Uh, different variations of wrestling fans. All of us came together, and it was awesome. Yeah, it was. Bit, well, did we explain the game? Oh, we, me and you kind of did. Yeah, when we did yeah, our the show, drinking, the drinking game. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that we didn't? I mean, it was a Sunday night. Nobody really got like annihilated, but it was fucking great. Yeah, it was fun, and it's just funny because it's like, like you don't really even ke- keep up with it, but when you start watching it, it's like we were all so invested. <laughs> Like we knew what yeah. was going on. It's entertaining, man. Oh yeah, it was won, so fun. like uh did Ronda Rousey win the women's rumble or something like that? No, she came at the end and just like stared everybody down and the girls. The girl who won it was from J- is she- from Japan. She's never lost in uh her like career in WWE and she just won the rumble. Weren't they setting Rousey up for WrestleMania? Yeah, she'll fight Ric Flair's daughter at WrestleMania. Yeah. I won and the didn't women's she come out, Rumble. Didn't she come out in Rowdy Roddy Piper? It's Jacket. Yep. Roddy Roddy Piper's Jacket. jacket well, that's from her. His she's son. related to him, though, right? No, no, no. She I was about got to her say, nickname. if she's not related to him, how did she not get? How did she not get shit for that? No, 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 no. Her Roddy Piper's son gave Rousey the jacket her dad wore right before okay. she came out. Okay. Because she got her as a lesbian. She's a lesbian. Maybe. No, I think oh. she married that uh big Travis Brony uh heavyweight, oh, yeah. heavyweight, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, so that's at least that's what I read, Jimmy. I could be wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that she uh I just I knew she had related. to have some kind of connection or she would have got shit for that. Yeah, so Ooh, she uh, came no, out in wrestling. When she first started fighting, she was like there's something to do with uh Rowdy Roddy. That's Piper, how that's you know? how okay. she got her yeah. nickname. That's how she got her nickname, yeah. What's her nickname? Uh, Rowdy Ronda Rousey, yeah. Uh, oh, Rowdy Ronda like Rousey, <laughs> yeah. I think Ronda it's Rowdy. Rousey? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's a tongue it's Rowdy. Like uh, Burns, to, to answer your question, the dude hole. who won the dudes one was this guy named Shinsei Nakamura. What was it just like a Japanese night? Seriously, you said the lady. Yeah, so I don't. Something's good. That dude's not going to actually fight and wrestle me. Something's going to happen, right? Uh, he For won't fight Brock. In there. He, he won't fight Brock Lesnar. He'll fight the other, the dude on the other side, which is AJ Styles. As well, so one of our buddies is like he still keeps up with all the storylines and stuff, and he was basically saying the reason why the guy, the Roman dude didn't win is because he got like booed last year, so they didn't want to risk him again, and they kind of went with this dude just to give somebody else like give him a chance since they've been wrong the last couple of years or whatever. I don't know. Well, it was still weird. awesome. Like, he's just a weird character. Is he a popular guy? He he's just the seemed mo- like a fucking yeah, loser. Yeah, he's the most popular uh, dude the right The Asian now. guy? Yeah, yeah. He's the Asian John Cena. No way. I swear. That's what he was telling me. I said huh. the same thing as you, Kyle. I was like, I don't. I was surprised they've had him win it. And he was like, no, he's the most, like, his, uh, his, when his song debuted, it went up to, like, the number, like, in the top 100 on the iTunes charts. Because so many what? people were downloading it. Yeah. It was just his entrance music. It'd be so fun to go to an event. Can you drink at the events? Oh yeah, I'm yeah. sure. I don't like, see like anybody I'm sure it's drinking. $10 beers, but yeah, you. Where's can. uh where's WrestleMania at this year? I want to say New Orleans. They showed like nine promos for it. I should know. I'm pretty sure it's wow. New Orleans. Well, it was fun. So what I suggested is remember like the old Nintendo 64 WCW NWO Revenge. Yeah, you just those. you just fucking put it on sixty people, and then you just let the computers fight. So you can do that shit every like Saturday night. And it's like watching the Royal Rumble. Then you got your you you know you have your guys. You actually would have a draft. You would have a draft. Um, what am I trying to say? You'd have a draft, so you actually get to choose your character, and then uh, it's random ordered. Will be fun. Cool. Sweet. Let's live stream it. Cool. I'll play it. <laughs> What'd you guys do over the weekend? It all runs together. I don't even remember. 
<sighs> Weekends cool. don't really differentiate from weekdays for me. Yeah, I, I I honestly look forward to the weeks rather than I do the weekends. Went down to the uh, Winter Carnival in St. Paul. They had people doing like uh, ice sculptures, like uh, carving ice sculptures. It's pretty sweet with a chainsaw. Man, I don't know how people do that. That's and then cool. at the Puyallup Fair here, they do it out of like out of logs. And I'm always like, how how? What makes you think that you can do that good enough that you then jump into actually doing it? You know what I'm saying? Like. Who? How do you think you have that skill to chainsaw? I have, I wild? have no idea. Or ice, like ice is even more wild. What if I yeah, have? What if nice. I have that talent? I don't know. Yeah, someone did like carve like a Viking ship out of ice, an ice, a block of ice. It's like how? How does it even? How do you even get that image in your head? And how do? You yeah, how do you visualize that shit? They're they're savants. Do you guys have any special talents? No. Um. No, not really. I can put Pretty. dental floss in my nose and have it come out my mouth. Oh, really? Seriously? Yeah, I've made. I've, I'll, I haven't done it for a while, but yeah, I can do that. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice party. Tr- it's a nice party trick. How do you do? Yeah, that? I mean, it, you just basically snort it. You snort it in your nose and like hock a lug. <laughs> so you the, that's kind of like I've seen somebody do it with a snake. Spaghetti. Could you do it with a snake? A real live snake. Like a uh, really skinny grass snake. I mean, I probably could. I mean, I Would don't you know do if I physic- I wouldn't know. That'd be disgusting. Snakes smell like shit. One of my friends has the most disgusting party trick you could possibly see. He can take he can uh, take his testicles and suck them up into his stomach. Like he can uh, make you dis- watched dis- this, huh? Yeah, I've seen it multiple times. <laughs> In, into <ew. laughs> well, it's like he, just, he can make his like testicles like dis- disappear out of his scrotum and then In, can, into like, his stomach or like well, right above his dick, like into whatever whatever's above the scrotum. I don't know where they would go. Wherever they go before they drop is a. Child. I can move my ball up you know, and it's like right up above my dick. No, he can make them literally disappear out of his scrotum and then drop them back down. That's fucking crazy. Can we get some video of that? I can maybe have him do a video and I'll send it to you. Oh, sweet! I'm excited. It's a great, it's a great party trick. It, it's a, it's good for a laugh. Yeah. Well, that's he can come to awesome. my he can come to my next Royal Rumble party. Yeah. yeah, we had a good turnout. What was there? Eleven people. Yeah, eleven people. Eleven dudes. Did you did you charge at the door like they had to pay to get in? No, no, uh, no. I didn't. People brought Should've... beer. He made some pork. Yeah, the pork was good. Um, and as the far as beer goes, extra salty. Yeah, that was pretty salty. Uh, Speaking of pork, we have an ad sponsor. Sorry, that's just being random. <laughs> hey, we can sell pork. <laughs> we do have an ad. What is our ad for? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, something we picked up to help us replace Jimmy on the show. So today's show is sponsored by Zip Recruiter. Are you hiring? Every business needs a great needs great people and a better way to find them. Uh, we're currently in the process of replacing Jimmy, so we're using Zip Recruiter to find our next uh, podcast host. You need something better than posting your job online and then praying for the right people to see it. So ZipRecruiter knew there was a smarter way, so they built a platform that finds the right job candidates for you. ZipRecruiter learns what you're looking for, identifies people with the right experience, and invites them to apply to your job. In fact, 80% of employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a qualified candidate through the site in just one day. The right candidates are out there. ZipRecruiter knows how to find them. Businesses of all sizes trust ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. Right now, Dude Comedy listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Dude Comedy. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash Dude Comedy. ZipRecruiter is the smartest way to hire. Try it today for free. Yeah. ZipRecruiter.com. Can you hire, hold on, can you hire strippers on ZipRecruiter? I mean, I'm sure if you have a club, maybe you can. Let's see. Strippers. Yeah, if you had a business Zip. and you, you could do probably do it. How do you Recruiting. think the interview goes when you own a strip club? Let's say I like this. I uh, like where this is going. Where you, you it's not it's not a bottom dwelling strip club. Well, Just you got a high class. Me. Get your high well, class escorts. Okay, right? we'll start with high class. How do you think the interview goes when you're interviewing a Potential strippers. So, so there's well, a big just black. A dance. Why would you be asking them? It's there's, just a dance. There's a big black You don't talk to them. Demonstration. There's a there's so a big black it, couch in the room. They have to dance. Yeah, you have to. I mean, if you if you're hiring somebody to be a basketball player, you got to watch them play. 
You're hiring somebody to be a dancer. Yeah. You got to see him. Well, that's why when you hire a porn star, you fuck her. Yeah, have so you seen casting Just couch? like you just make the girl, yeah, you just make the girl dance, give a little wiggly. I cease. think there'd be more questions when it comes into a stripper, though. To go off of that, I think that there's more of an interview. Process. Such as, uh, are you willing to sell meth for me? Are you <laughs> you double as my drug dealer as well as a dancer. Also, I am also your pimp. What uh, prostitution acts would you be willing to do? But that's how the interview process goes, Jimmy. It's quite straightforward. <laughs> Burns like nose from experience. Yeah, sounds like it. So you wouldn't be asking them like, "What's your work ethic?" or anything like that. No skills just, tests. No, nah, man. I just up. need to know if you can be here from eight p.m. to four a.m. <laughs> 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 it's true though okay all right i'd only want to go to i've never been inside a strip club but do they have natural titty strip clubs i find that really surprising so wait yeah, we, we, kind of, we tried to go to remember kyle I we tried to go to leave you yeah. me and kyle tried to go to one in seattle at like four in the morning no we, we were work. at one but yeah. I, I, mem- I, did, I didn't go in kyle pissed out didn't want to go in it was the C team working, man. We had to bail. Wasn't the the door girl? She's like, we're all talking to her the whole time, and then she's like, "Well, my, I got to go strip." And we're like, "Oh, <laughs> what?" Uh, so, but no, I've never, literally, never been inside of a strip club, and I probably never will. So one I went to uh, when we were in San Diego before my cruise, it was so it was. Uh, what was it? Topless only, whatever. Anyway, the point of the story is, so one of my buddies who remained nameless, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone listening can guess who it was. He's at the bar with the with the girls, whatever, and then he's like talking to him, and she's like, no, we don't do private dances here. And he was so pissed because he had just bought like three shots, whatever, back and forth with them. And he stole her cell phone by mistake. He gets back to the room. And he's like, what's in my pocket? And it was this, uh, this girl's cell phone. So we spent the rest of the night trying to unlock it and figure out how we could get it back to her and we never did so that poor stripper got her cell phone jacked by my buddy jimmy have you ever been to a strip club <laughs> yep. i went for my uh i, I went, went for to my... actually a, a united states famous one back in the day um there was a place called platinum plus in memphis and it was like one of the number or it was one of the top ones in the country how was, was it uh, it was it was another level, man. It, I'll just put it this way: at two in the morning, there was an announcement. the The DJ would announce over the the loudspeaker that the fuzz was gone, and then shit got really crazy. Dude, that went to one. I went to one. And you could Deja bring your own Vu. bottle. You couldn't bring beer, but you could bring hard liquor. Wow! But yeah. the one I went to, it's called Deja Vu in Minneapolis, and I went for my 18th birthday. If it's your birthday <laughs> at those places, steer clear. That's just a just a warning for everyone. Steer. You're going to get beat with a belt tied to a chair. Oh, or dude, they bring, they bring you on stage, sit you on the chair, and then the, uh, one of them will go the like as high as she can on the pole and just slam herself down to your thighs, slap you in the face. They like beat the shit out of you. Basically, why? What the <laughs> fuck does that do for anybody? I don't understand that shit. I think maybe it's just like a humiliation in front of them. Kyle, people. you know you have know. your wife drip hot wax on you. Fuck no! Right after she pees on your face. Ew. <laughs> but the thing, like, okay, if my buddy, if it was like my birthday and I, we went to the strip club, I literally, first off, I would not want to go in there. I would go in there, but I would like if they tried to do that shit with me, I would, I would, I would get pretty serious about telling them not to do that shit. Like, I know everybody would be all laughing and shit. They, they would. would. Everybody would be I laughing would, and everybody would encourage him to do it. So you'd end yeah. up either having to hit a stripper. To get Which out of I it, would. You're just, you're just gonna have to take it. You realize I, if you I, hit a stripper, you're gonna get beyond fucked up, right? Oh yeah, like, you're done oh, for. You're done. I don't for. care. You're gonna be left outside an inch from your life. I mean, not if I was with a group of twenty dudes. I don't think you realize the security that's in these strip clubs, buddy. The big ones. No, I d- I do realize it, but it's not like I I have a feeling my friends just wouldn't let me get fucking beat to a pulp. Uh, there's a there's but a, if, uh, if the reason that. That security usually dominates in those because they just overwhelm you. I mean, there could be thirty bouncers in those places. They Jimmy, ain't fucking remember, uh, thirty bouncers. Jimmy, do you remember what we call the dominatrix place? I do. And I tried I to see if, and I tried to see if this, uh, if they would cut me with a knife. Oh yeah, that was on. Uh, that was on the show. Uh, pinky, Pinky, was it Pinky? 
Who what no. what was the word pinky? Something with uh, pinky when we first started streaming on Twitch. Uh, I don't remember. I just know that Jimmy would always goat. Jimmy would always try to pull out early on the calls and stuff because he'd start feeling bad for him and he'd be like, dude, just tell him you're joking. And you're like, fuck no. I don't remember what Kyle's best hooker call was when he said that uh, he was there the other day and he accidentally left his kid there. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> one was great. He was look, looking for the kid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cause then she's she's like, "Did you call the cops?" And I'm like, "Fuck no!" And my wife will find out. I felt bad for some of them because some of them were like genuinely like, I don't know, like. Dude, we used to be, we used to on. Like, we got banned on Twitch days. in the first three episodes or four episodes. Yeah, didn't we? So, uh, probably some of the prank calls that I, we I used to actually fucking post. They were fucking bad, dude. Like, it's, but it, this was before like the. Uh, like, like the multiple, you know, genders or whatever, you know, before that craze of like transsexuals and, you know, whatever people want to be called. If I posted one of those videos, we would call tranny hookers and just fucking annihilate them. And it was, it was actually pretty pathetic on our part. But if I posted something like that now, oh my gosh, like yeah, I would just, done, I would just be so. killed. Yeah. You would get R. some R. really good publicity, man. Hey, what about this? You, did you guys see the YouTuber guy that's like, the acid that, one? Yeah. This YouTuber, so in London there's been a there's been more like acid attacks. What and is so an he acid attack. Where you just walk up to somebody and you throw acid in their face. You're kidding me. Swear. So he goes it's a, it's he go day. he goes around the city and he oh. he acts like he's doing that, but it's just water. And he's just I saw it on like the top of Twitter just getting shit on. Yeah, I saw it I saw it too. He was getting destroyed. What a wow. dumb, what a dumb, a dumb, thing. dumb thing. Yeah. Another dumb, dumb, dumb thing is the no lacking challenge, which I researched for an article I posted the other day. And basically what it is, is like, so someone will be filming and you'll pull your gun out and then there's someone else will pull like their gun out and you guys will point it at each other, you know? And then the rule is like, you don't shoot. Well, some kid got shot. On it, yeah. And it's just like, he wasn't the dude doing the challenge. It's the random dude at the restaurant. People are just. Do you dumb, imagine man. somebody just walking up to you, or your, your wife, or your kid, and just dumping acid on you? Dude, it fucks them up too. I mean, so sometimes you'll be like, uh, you'll see like acid in the movies, and it like melts the shit out of you. Yeah. But then sometimes you'll see like, um, like I mean, there lot like there's lots of different uh, you know levels of acid, but like. I've seen, I've actually seen like a video, not like the whole pro. I've seen a, a video of a lady getting acid thrown on her, and then like the after pictured, like definitely fucks you up. Didn't like, the, uh, didn't Kim, Kim Jong Ung's, whatever you say, however you say it, wasn't his brother murdered with acid, like in the airport by that assassin? Didn't she just run up and throw like poisonous acid in his face? <laughs> probably but yeah that's crazy that's i'm pretty sure crazy. it's acid yeah that's tight i mean that's not tight but that's like crazy that's like some movie shit it's a great yeah. way to get it's a great way to get rid of a dead body though oh yeah does it i've seen him burn through, does it eat up the bones you probably need some strong shit i'm just going off with breaking bad taught me yeah that just imagine like no... a... Sorry. yes that's Sorry. the video i just sent you that's the i know no i just watched, I... what what is no what does lacking mean I mean, so we're buddies. I'll come up and pull a pistol in your face, and you pull one back, and we're done with the challenge. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, what is the challenge? I don't really. Is the challenge no like not challenge. I just, shoot? I just sent it. I just sent it to you guys. But you can type in no lacking gone wrong, and there's like a bunch of videos of it gone wrong too. Fucking idiots. But when you guys, yeah, one of you said something, and it made me remember that. Uh, okay, so according to Urban Dictionary, lacking is not having a firearm on you. Uh, oh, so, like you lacking. So the quote is, run up on that. I'm never lacking. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Urban Dictionary, for making us not look stupid. Why do, like, it's funny that, so all these white kids, you know, have these, like, corny-ass challenges, you know, like the corny white people did, like, uh, you know, like the ice bucket challenge. Obviously, I mean, it was it was for a great cause, I guess. But then, uh, but then sometimes you see like like 
like the lacking challenge and then like remember the knockout challenge yeah the knockout one was brutal like why is the shit always got to get taken to the next level by black people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw one. Uh, I saw one like right during that ice bucket challenge. Someone got it confused. Did the boiling water challenge? Dump boiling water on someone? Oh, <laughs> oh, we sure it was an acid. Well, I've seen a video of. Well, there was this black girl who her brother's getting home, so she got boiling water and went and threw it on him, it, like as a joke, and like just what, what is. <laughs> What is just funny bubbled about that? Hi- bubbled his fucking skin and stuff like his face there was another really really bad and she's challenge. like <laughs> yeah no he, and he's like screaming like like and she's not like she was a little she was like fucking 15 16 just retarded there was another really 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 dumb challenge i'm completely oh the Kylie Jenner challenge when the people were sucking their lips and then it was like oh. on glasses yeah. here then, you go here you go yeah. guys just what's, what's that? Dork. Tell me if that just you said you said you needed a little happiness in your life. There you go. No, you. Uh, I've already seen that. You've already seen it. Seen it. No, seen it. it. You're, it's old news. My bad, um, Beam King. I've never seen this. This is tight. But the boiling <laughs> water. So you remember my channel idea of like ideas that I have that I'll never do because I'm just too lazy and don't care. Mm-hmm. Um. So my first. Well, I already explained my first one with. I don't. I think it was just me and Colby, but the miscarriage one. Or yeah, is it, it was everybody? just me and you. It was just me and you. Oh, okay, it was a great idea. But then my other idea sounds amazing. Sh- <laughs> should, should I? Well, so the miscarriage, you know, f- funny, hilarious video. You know how you do like a baby reveal. You know, like so you'll like fucking blow something up and it'll be pink or yeah. blue. Yeah, right. Yep. And then so but then you also have an envelope that confirms just in case something got messed up, the sex of the baby. You know, so like my sister just did a reveal uh a few weeks ago and they blew up a box with some explosives and it had pink in it because she was a girl. And then so they opened the letter after and the letter confirmed, like, okay, we didn't screw anything up, so it is a girl. But what if <laughs> What if it exploded and it was all red, and everybody's like, "What the what the fuck is this?" Like, I don't get it. And then you then you open Dude, the you open horrible. the letter and it says says you miscarried. That is horrible. <laughs> and then the end. Yeah. But my other so I was telling Colby I have a bunch of these ideas, but one of my other ideas, which this isn't as this is more like a fake video, but you know how a lot of people in really cold places will take a, a boiling water. You know, outside, and, and I'm sure Burns is yeah, being cold yeah, in Minnesota. Yeah, then you throw yeah. it in the air, and then it all evaporates, yeah. or whatever the fucking word is. But if you, it'd be funny if you were acting like you're going to do that video with boiling water, and you threw it wrong, and you like, you know how sometimes in a in a pot like that, like it'll like fling back on you. If you just do a fake video and act like your fucking face, like you accidentally threw the boiling water on yourself, it wouldn't actually be boiling water. It'd probably just be, you know put some dry ice in there to make it look like you know there's activity yeah. and it's boiling a little bit and you just throw it back on your face and it just ends with like excruciating like screaming and then the video ends and then everybody's gonna call you an idiot and stuff but you're just laughing on the inside because you know it's fake <laughs> well if you throw dry ice in your face it's gonna be a bad time yeah yeah well it's, it would only be one pe- one little piece in there just so it's showing some activity yeah you're kind but, of fucked uh, up aren't you yeah, man, but it got me here. It got me here. Yeah, he got to witness Rey Mysterio coming back last night. Oh, that yeah. so awesome. How old but is he... that dude? Oh, dude, who knows? That, that was... guy's in his 50s. I saw he hit someone with a double 619. Oh, man. Yeah. It was so awesome. <laughs> who I had a... Who were my guys? I don't think I had anybody I really knew. Uh yeah. Oh, did I, you guys have like a, a pot? Like yeah. you, you put money on you guys? had yeah, every everybody had three characters each, so we picked out of a hat. Yeah, but I think I think I had one guy who was uh doing really good and then my other guy came in and he started kicking the crap out of my other guy who was doing really good and I was like, Oh no, this is how it's gonna end, isn't it? So then my guy threw my other guy out. I was like, No Yeah, so if if your well, guy throws somebody out, then you get a like assign drinks to people and if your guy gets thrown oh. out you're supposed to finish it 
But at, by the end yeah. of it, we were all just yelling stuff. Yeah, well, I think, so if your guy throws somebody out, you get to assign two drinks to anybody, which I, I don't understand. Like, that's a lot of fucking drinks. And nobody was, it, it shouldn't be that. It should be like, uh, it should be maybe assigned one drink. I don't even think you need that because there's so many people getting chucked and thrown out. And like, if they point at the WrestleMania sign, everybody special drinks. Moves. Special moves. Special moves. Everybody drinks. If they, uh, if the announcers, you know, say the rules, everybody drinks. So you don't need to be handed two drinks out to people. And I, at first, I was drinking wine, and I'm like, "Fuck, dude, I gotta chug this." And it was, yeah, fuck my dude, stomach. Wine, wine will fuck you up quick. Yeah, yeah. That, should, that should make you real hungover. It's like the worst hangover you can have is a wine hangover. No, I, I just, I, I always get, have I the mean, best I mean, hangovers off wine. That stuff will get you drunk quick. Yeah, I usually so I don't. I've kind of been on this like don't drink a shitload of beer kick because I always it always wake me up super early like fi- like I was up at five thirty this morning because my stomach was all fucking bubbly and shit from beer and uh, but when I drink wine your shit's not all bubbly so you at least you get a you know have a decent decent night's rest. Love a good oh. night's rest. Hey, uh, I gotta say one more wrestling thing that I forgot. So Brock Lesnar he fought again. Against this huge, massive dude, and the huge, massive dude named Braun, he accidentally like threw a legit knee that hit Lesnar. And the, the video title says, "Note to fellow wrestlers: Never legit or er, never legit knee former UFC heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar." Then they show Brock Lesnar's face when he gets kneed for real. He throws a haymaker and nails the dude in the face. I didn't remember this happening last night. Really? Yeah. Is that the video you just sent? Yeah. I said, no, that's the Rey Mysterio. Here's the Brock Lesnar one. I got into a little wormhole trying to find the Rey Mysterio one. Uh, anyway, it was just a good old-fashioned great time. I hope everyone else enjoyed it. Hey, did you guys see uh, Elon Musk is selling flamethrowers for 500 bucks? What? He is funding his... Um, his boring project, which is the thing for the the light tube, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 with yeah, yeah. The, the travel tunnel. He go, and he's doing it with the world's safest flamethrower. There's only twenty thousand of them available. He sold like eight thousand since this morning, and they're five hundred bucks a piece. I just dropped it in chat. He, it's badass looking. Is there video of it working? I don't know. Click the link. I just looked at the pic. The boring company flamethrower, five hundred bucks. He's raising money feeling. for his thing. He's raised like fifteen million dollars already. Wait, uh, since I'm morning. confused. So he only has. 20, I think it's 000. more of a. T- it's probably a torch, not an actual. It says thrower. Elon Musk has now sold over four million dollars worth of flamethrowers, and this was from okay, four, four hours million. Ago. My no, math no. sucks. No, no, no. That's just. I mean, I was more just saying. That's it, though. Five hundred bucks for that thing. That thing looks cool. It's just a fucking torch. I want to see it work. Okay. Well, I don't know. You can Google it, but I thought it'd be something you'd probably want to play around. All right, here. It's pretty cheap, too. Oh, he's got a video on his Instagram. To have a flamethrower. Yeah. Flamethrowers are dangerous. Oh, great. He said it's the world's safest flamethrower. Oh, great. Casey Neistat. Uh, That's why I don't. So I don't think it's a. Let me see if it's a real flamethrower. I'm watching it now. Hey, you need millions of zombies for a so called apocalypse. (laughs) It's not a real flame. It's a fucking torch. Flamethrower, you actually like chuck liquid that's on fire. That's definitely just a It looks like there's torch. a bottle of, of liquid. No, it's like propane. It's a fucking uh, torch. I just had the video up, but then I got off of okay, it. Okay, well. It's right here, Jimmy. Five, $500 torch, I guess. I mean, it, it would be cool, cool to have. It looks pretty cool. But it's basically just a fucking torch. Uh, I sent it right there, Jimmy, the video of them. Yeah, I'm watching it now. Yeah. Oh, well. Hey, still cool. Boring. I thought it was pretty cool. I can make one of those. I can make one for fucking 12 bucks. It's a pretty big torch. You gotta get one, Jimmy? It's a really big torch. It's not a flamethrower. That's pretty intense. It's throwing flames out the barrel. It would be cool to start my barbecue with it, though. There you go. I like it. I like the way you think. Cool. Li- that guy's such a cool guy. I would fuck him. I like the way you look. Who, Elon uh, Musk? Yeah. You see him before I he w- got his hair plugs? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I that's what I think me and Colby were talking about. That's what I was like. That's I was trying to explain. I'm like, 
all right, this is like like LeBron James, motherfucker's rich as fuck, and he's still like like that's why I don't even go down the avenues of trying to fix my hair loss issue because even the super fucking rich guys like LeBron James, their shit's still fucked. Elon Musk, his hair was just it was thin. He wasn't like bald, you know. Right. But whatever he did looks amazing, and I would fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> would you not? Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Kyle. You're the boss. Would you not? Yeah, man. Whatever you. Want if us you to had do. one dude, if you had to pick one dude to fuck, who would it be? Matt in the whole Damon. World? What? <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Ew. Isn't that your guy, Kyle? No, I love him, but not like from a fuck standpoint. <laughs> I love him, but not like that. <laughs> like he's an amazing actor, but he's done some shit to his body that's just like I feel like he'd just be fucking like, an old um, man. I like as actors. I like Gerard Butler and Tom Hardy. Like to fuck? No. Just or you just actors. like him? Wahlberg, oh. dude. I'll put Wahlberg in my. I like my Wahlberg. List. Yeah. No, but to, he to would fuck, be. I'd probably he would... go with Will Ferrell. There you go. <laughs> Wait, are you doing it or yeah. are you getting it? <laughs> I don't know. See, Wahlberg, you, I feel like you'd have to be the bitch if you're fucking Wahlberg. Will Ferrell. And I'd be like, like Justin, I agree. Be- you know Justin I Bieber. I feel like I was banging a chick. Uh, or the okay, head okay, coach okay. of the Los Angeles Rams. Oh, uh, McVay? McVay? That motherfucker's sexy as shit. All right, so let's let's get these all listed out. Mm. All right, so you got to take one. Mm. You got to give one. Celebrity you're taking it from, we've all agreed. Well, I've agreed. I'm going Mark Wahlberg. Like if we want to be the bitch in the situation, you got to be both. You got to do one where you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. If you want to be the bit, like, I would choose Brock Lesnar. Oh, gee, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just rip my ass up. Oh, you're dead, dude. <laughs> Literally dead. I like that. Okay, anybody else gonna pick theirs? Fuck. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, I'll go, I'm gonna. I'll go I'm, gonna t- I'm gonna take it from Tom Arnold. Hardy. I'm gonna take it from Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold. There you go. Terry Crews. There you go. Terry Crews. The Rock. Um, who's that one guy with the really big dick? Uh the old porn star? What's Seth his name? Rogen. The dude with the mustache? No, the dude yeah, with the mustache. The, yeah. Oh, Ron Jeremy? I've, the, I've never Ron seen his dick. Ron Jeremy. Let's look. You could probably just Google Let's, it, buddy. Ron Jeremy's rum? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, Jimmy, man, dick. Jimmy's got to be careful talking about gay stuff because he's from the South, man. They don't like, uh, they don't take kindly to the gay stuff. All right, Ron Jeremy's dick. Let's see what we got. There's Steve-O's dick. I don't want to see Steve-O's dick. <laughs> You're in a, wor- a weird wormhole right now. I've never seen his dick, and everybody's always talking about his dick. What if that was like again? We talked about the ice sculptor. Like, how do you know that that's your like skill? What if your secret skill is just like you had just the the perfect like just dick? Burns, yeah. What the fuck is this? Dro- <laughs> okay. Uh, Burns, I dropped. What is the, that? Uh, four life advice for Burns to read. Oh, okay. Let's get it. Hey, read them up. Let's do those. Fuck yeah. Okay, so everyone, this is the life advice s- segment is back. We're getting a ton of them. Thanks to on the, Dude Comedy? Yeah, thanks to the availability that we have made at DudeComedy.com. Thanks, everybody, Holy for checking it out. shit. This is getting pretty cool. And uh, thanks for everybody who uh, sent nice things that uh, this guy, who I did not include in the life advice, he just wrote, jerked off 15 times to you guys. Now keep the shows coming. And he wrote, coming, C-U-M-M-I-N-G. Thanks, buddy. So I you I go to submit. Okay, so it says it in submit right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, go but to you submit. should yeah you should call it life advice. Uh, eventually oh, it, it says it on the top oh, of the doc. Okay. Eventually it will all be an internal thing, but right now it's just kind of like ghetto rigged. All right, so yeah, Burns yeah, is going to break it down right now. We got four. We'll see if they're good. I have not pre-read any of them, so Burns, take it away. All right, so I'll have Kyle be the judge on this. If he wants to say that's a shit fucking question, moving on. We're, we're okay. Gonna go, we're going to go with Kyle on that one. All right. All right, first one. <clears throat> so basically, there was a meme page in our school, but it had some pretty cruel stuff on it. So eventually, our principal found out. Every follower got a letter like, got a letter sent home, and we had to discuss social medias with, uh, media with the principal. We all know who ratted us out, but we don't know how to confront her about it. The worst thing is, is that she wasn't memed, but those who were memed were fine with it. 
Then we were forced to shut it down. Sounds like he's what's just telling us telling a story. I don't, what do you? What's the question? Yeah, where's the, yeah, what what no advice question. does he need? Uh, maybe he's saying, should we kill her or no? Oh, maybe. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to the middle. Maybe he's saying we all know who ratted us out, but don't know how to confront her about it. He forgot to put a question mark. That's the well, question. Well, the, the thing is, I, I mean, if it, if it was a, if it was an open page that anybody could see, then they're fucking stupid. They should have made it private. End of story. Next. Dumb fuck. There you go. Dumb fucks. Oh, yeah, I also there think you, it's, uh, you know who hey, ratted you out. Hey, submit your life Too advice late. so you can get belittled. By a nude comedy host. Hey, we're just being honest, man. They're dumb as fuck, man. You should have made it private. But you, you get what you you get what you deserve, man. You get what you deserve. You dumb fuck. But maybe it was private, and then she was in the private group, and then snitched on him. Hey, huh? but snitches get. But also snitches get stitches. Snitches so if you want to, yeah. if you, you, you want to beat the shit out of her, that's no, I mean. no, no. <laughs> just slice her face, and then she'll fucking have to look in the mirror for the rest of her life and know why that scar is there. And, and then use that. And then use, and then use that picture to meme her. And also yeah. cut her brake line of her car. Jesus. That's. Uh, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> what I was gonna say real quick is so, I got a little lesson on. Um, wine this la the last couple days or a couple days ago. Are you a and wine so, connoisseur now? So when you kick a football to to the other team in a game, it's called a punt, right? You punt the football. Yeah. Did you know that the bottom of a like the wine glass is that indent in the bottom is called a punt? But why does it seem so dirty when you cut? Like it seems like I've never thought of the word like punting a football like as as um like sounding dirty but when you call the punt of a wine glass probably because it rhymes with cunt punt yeah that's probably what that's it is. a nice punt <laughs> fucking little what do you think punt. the dirty what is the dirtiest word out there to you moist it's gotta be cunt yeah i, I go with yeah cunt. it's gotta be it's a great it's it's a great word though yeah, yeah i like it because girls fucking hate it it just rolls off the tongue so nicely you fucking cunt yeah it's <laughs> it's gotta be the yeah i agree with that what is the actual like? Is the cunt just the vagina or like a girl's gooch? Like, what is the cunt? One sec on it. What does? One sec. I have to go to Google. It. Google. Uh, this for this. A woman's genitals is the definition. Oh. Hey, my buddy got uh, my <laughs> buddy got bronze. Says it. My buddy got bronze in X Game Snowbike Best Trick. Hey, is that the one you were supposed to have a sponsor thing? Yeah, no, it was. I had a little picture on his number plate of my oh. face. Could you see it Sweet. on TV? Uh, yeah. Do you have a picture? It's pretty cool. Uh, it's all, I just posted it. It's on my Instagram. I'll check it out. But let me put let me put it in here. Yeah, because I got to put it on the site. Everything we talk about is located on the Dude Comedy site below the podcast. Uh, let's see here. While you're while you're dropping that, Burns, there's still three more life advices. Yeah, let's get let's get it. Let's get it. Next one up. Uh, I've been with this girl for a long time. We've broken up four different times. We want to try dating again, but over the four breakups, all of my closest friends hate her. The four breakups were because of all things that were mentally wrong with her. Oh my god! Her hey, what are you doing, man? Why are you still with this bitch? Yeah, this that's I fucking hate when that's like what my brother did. He was with this just insane bitch, but he felt like like he felt like he had to like help her, you know, but then he would make excuses for being just a, a true cunt by saying that she has problems. You know, so Sounds like you, he's the one with the problems, man. Your friends yeah. hate her. Get rid of her, man. What's what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again. There you go expecting different results four fucking breakups move on there you go good advice and if you're clo if your closest friends see when you're in a relationship you don't realize that the shit is fucking stupid what you need to do is take advice from your best friends and if they all fucking hate her well no shit it's because something is wrong and you need to move the fuck on is he with yeah. her now uh no, he says he wants to get back together with her again. But no, no, uh, I'm talking about your brother, Kyle. Oh no, 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 she went insane. Like, well, not really insane, but uh, I think we've talked about it on the show before. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so yeah, like that was some crazy shit. Yeah, they met on MySpace after MySpace wasn't <laughs> fucking cool, so I, that's their first issue. 
that was the first red flag. Yeah. All right. All right. Next up. Oh yeah, just break up with her, dude. Yeah, Move on. Gotta... More fish in the sea. If your friends don't like her, that's the. I mean, I'm sh- assuming you're younger. That's the like the biggest red fucking flag of all time. And you've broke up four times. What are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, put your disclaimer in again. <laughs> Submit your life uh, advice, dude. <laughs> dude, uh, it's it, uh, it's past disclaimers. It's been past disclaimers for a long time. I quit right. worrying about it. I chilled out probably episode fifty. And look at us now, dude. Getting ads. Yep. All right, hit it, Burns. All right, so I'm in a bit of a pickle. I am grounded. I'm in a pickle, I... Dick. Sorry, that's a really good movie. Uh, Dick and Jane, fun with Dick and Jane, Jim Carrey. All right, sorry. No one gives a shit, Jimmy. <laughs> it's a really funny movie. I don't care. Let me check my statistics. Okay. Go ahead. God damn it, Jimmy. Always talking about some other shit. Uh, I am grounded until I get a job. <laughs> I am ground. I am grounded until I get a job. I appreciate at a store. you guys. You know that. I appreciate yeah. you guys. I'm trying great. to get through this question, Jimmy, but you keep interrupting like a like a cunt. Oh, I knew it's coming. <laughs> right, I am grounded until I get a job at a store. This store so is get a not. Job. This store is currently not hiring. This means that I am grounded from playing basketball, working out, and visiting friends after school until I get a job at a place that is not lo- that is not looking for people. My parents realized this after I told them, but they are not budging. What am I supposed to do? What is this, the only place in town you can possibly work at? I was about to say the same thing. You can work at some other place. Who gives a sh- if stores not hiring, go somewhere else. Kill your parents. <laughs> Next question. Mur- murder is always the answer. <laughs> How the fuck? That sounds like a... F- what? So he's I- in a pickle. He's grounded until he gets a job at a store. This store is not hiring. Then how the fuck are you going to get a job? That's why would your parents even set you up for what do you do? Why is he grounded? That's I'm confused. How uh, that's you must have done something huh. first. Got to get more details. Well, I mean, okay. So he said he has to get a job at this place. It's not a little bit. hiring. So the problem is you need to do something that will make that store be hiring. Now, what are some things that will clear up some space in this store? Less people working there, right? I think it's a shitty, shitty question. On to the next one. All right, I think this one is going to be real good for Kyle. I think Kyle, I want you to get, I want you to get creative with this one. Okay. I'm a high schooler in Wyoming. I am also a swimmer. I've Yay! Been ta- <laughs> I've been talking to this girl who also swims, and she lives in a town about an hour away. And this guy on her team always asks her for nudes and is always sending pictures of his ass for some reason. (laughs) Swimmer ass. It's probably shaved. Not his dick, but his ass. That's great. It's probably shaved. Me and this guy swim at the same event in the 500 meter freestyle. I'm a little bit faster than him and state is in a few weeks. How and when should I talk shit to him? At all times. Well, first, hold on. So first That's off, does great. does this other guy know that you're talking to her? Because if he doesn't, then how the fuck is he supposed to know? Like, you're not dating her. Let's say that. So he what knows. are you? You fucking creeping in the background, acting like you own this bitch? And how? Like, I'm like she's probably sending him titty pictures too. Yeah, let's unpack so, this. Peel the yeah. onion. Ass and titties. Ass and titties. Yeah, because he's. I mean, she's probably just. Wanting to you want he she probably wants him to kind of step up and act all big and tough, but he's too much of a pussy. I mean, he fucking swims. But <laughs> now, I mean, is it, now let's take it from the other side. Let's say that maybe he is the dominant one, and then uh, what should he do to shit talk him? Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, just I um, mean, we've already. I mean, just so we I go both sides. Wait, wait till you beat him in state. Yeah, I was. If you beat say, him in state. This Take era. the bitch and the championship. Oh my gosh! Okay, that's Kyle's got the point there. So you're on the podium. You're getting your gold medal, <laughs> and be like, "Well, he, he's in second place." Bitch. Yeah, yeah. And that's when you bring the girl up there and you propose to her. Oh yeah. Also, <laughs> uh, don't start. I think, uh, since we're in a pool, I think he should try to drown him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was hoping someone was gonna go there. Yes, dude. Like hide a hide a razor blade under your shorts. <laughs> And as you're swimming next to him, a swift, and then just be like, "What? I saw a shark swim in there." Laser, dude. razor is jugular. Yeah, or infest the water with sharks and leeches when he jumps Ooh. in the pool. 
Yeah, and then be like, fucking gotcha, it's a prank. S- swim through his blood cloud and fucking mm-hmm. pop out. So then the girl's watching, and she's obviously in shock, and you got blood and shit all over yourself, but act like a fucking lion that just defeated, you know, the... The mate. The, the bully, the other fucking hedgehog in the crew, you know? Yeah, you're Simba. And you got blood all over, then you, you fucking <laughs> spit the blood on your dick to lube it up, and... You, you just rail her right there with his own blood. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's what I'd do. We went down a dark trail. We did. I like it. <laughs> Shark infested water. Oh, yes. What are we that's tit- all? That's it? Yeah, that's it. What are we titling the show? Uh, Fuck your bitch with blood lube. I, I, just, I would like to say that this is a sponsored show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. So we won't do that. Sorry. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Let's call it. Ron Rousey's in the WWE. No, fuck that's gay as shit. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you guys come up with something. Uh, Burns, you came up. Did we tell everybody about our viral video? Yeah, we already did. You missed the last show. Yeah, Burns has oh. been taking credit oh. for that for two weeks now. Has he? <laughs> Let him have it. Okay. What it? Let's see what it hit. Because it said in the back end that we had way more views than we did, but then I don't get it. Are you talking about on the actual YouTube channel? Yeah, why does it do that? I don't know. Check. I'll, I'll look at the YouTube real quick. You look at audio. Boom, let's it compare. says 15,000 views six days ago. But I thought you showed us right. and it was at like 30. I did. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, check audio boom real quick as well. What did it do over okay. there? Sex robots. Let's see. Whoa! whoa. I, I think it did typical on on Audio Boom. Uh-huh. All right. Let's see here. We've got three point five. That's not typical. That's high. Remember they redid the thing, and we were in the one point five to two range. No, it was higher than that. Like the you will not click uh-huh. this episode three point eight seven. Colby's herpes three point nine. Uh-huh. Uh The Craigslist one four point two. Jennifer Lawrence. Four. So yeah, it's pretty much did typical. What happened to the views? Did it no. change? No, remember they changed the analytics. They're only counting iOS. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. He's talking about no. The YouTube. 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 It, I showed you. It had thirty-seven thousand views. I showed you the screenshot of the the front, but on the back end, and then it got pinged and confirmed for manual review of not being whatever, and now it shows fourteen thousand views. Well, here's your screenshot right yeah, here. Yeah, baby, we did it. We're getting dinged and pinged by the YouTube world. What does the screenshot say? It says just says last 48 hours 37,000, yeah. but is that yeah. is that views? Yes, that was the that was real-time analytics. Huh. Fuck yeah, YouTube. Fucking wow. queers. Wow. So that they now took we can away the views after they confirmed that it was not advertiser friendly. How about we just do huh. uh, Burns' favorite How word? How the fuck can they tell if it's... I mean, I guess it was sex robots. Or YouTube yeah, but is a Burns' favorite word. That's the title. No, we can't do that. We got to add. Yeah, YouTube is a... Cunt. Oh, yeah. Um, that was a good title, though. Um, shoot. Ronda Rousey, WWE champion. No, that's fucking gay. That's boring. I even agree with that. How about how about Ronda Rousey gets flame no. lowered? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's stupid too. Yeah, five hundred dollar flamethrower. Maybe something, something with the life advice is back. Life advice. Uh-huh. No, you can write. You can own a flamethrower. Explanation point. That's stupid. That's gay. Guys. Well, fuck you, then you cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, let's keep going. We got this. We'll get it figured out. I say we do do it. Put it the worst, around the, life the, advice. The, wor- the worst word, the worst cuss word in history. Yeah, there I like go. it. I like there you that. Go. I like no, it. No, what about what I about like what about it. what about this is the worst word you could say? Something like how you guys always. This is the like absolute that. worst word you could ever say to anybody. Perfect. Boom. And there the thumbnail will be like a word a blurred wh- out. A woman's, va- a woman's genitals. A woman's so, vagina. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Don't blur it out, though. Don't blur it out, though. Leave it like Yeah, no. Yeah, I'll a, take a picture of uh, just a big twat Rachel's. On the, I'll get on Rachel's the, send yeah, yeah, yeah. There you <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. Keep it in the family. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Hopefully so this like is that. the absolute worst word in the world, right? 
There you go. The worst word ever. This is Short, the worst word ever. Short and sweet. <laughs> this is the worst mm. word anyone hey, you see could the pic- say. How about this? You is see the, the picture of my dude right there with say. my face on his shit. Could Cut say. my life like into. Hey, Making an Jimmy, executive decision. Jimmy, you know how they do those, uh, the like the faces, and then like they'll have a black bar over it with all like the exclamation mark, money sign stuff like that. You should do that on part of the thumb. You know what I'm saying? How about how about I just do somebody talking and do like a censored badge over their mouth? That works too. There like a black bar sensor badge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was saying, right, but with it. like the the money sign. And I got you, buddy. I, I'm we're on, we're on we're connected, buddy. I got you. Hey, all right, shit. All right, guys. shit. Adios. See you tomorrow. See you later, cunts.